Hey guys, welcome back for the final video of the Ginyu Force Special Training. Now this is one that is going to be about Birder. So uh, this one's going to be released on Sunday because, well, Sunday to Monday is when Birder gets released, so Sunday night into Monday. Uh, but yeah, because I didn't release it the actual day that it came out, only I, I did a gameplay technically of what it was, so if you guys are interested in like any of the other stuff in terms of what the levels look like, I did do a quick one for Birder, but I didn't actually talk about the card, so let's go ahead and go overview of the card, we, we already kind of did the event and all the other events up to this point. But I'm um, getting you for special training Birder, uh, here we go, level 1 special training, as always you either get a Thouser or a Birder when you go and take the Nimbus Cloud, if you get a Thouser you get a guaranteed Birder drop, if not... Um, you can get Birder, but you might not always get him. You get, like, training items. Um, outside of that, uh, let's see, left path is always going to be the small orbs, middle path is medium orbs, right path is large orbs. Total potential or orbs needed, wow, tongue twister, total potential orbs needed is 5740 small, 3150 medium, and 301 large. If you go down the Nimbus path, the first set of orbs are going to be small, second set of pads are going to be medium, and third set of pads are going to be large. I know I said orbs, I meant pads in the first part. Um, anyway, once you get them to 100%, you get a Grand Elder Kai, which is cool. You have to run the event 30 times in order to get enough Metal Sudoku to awaken him, but you're really only concerned about getting them to 100%. When you get them to 100%, you can get the LR Ginyu. Um, LR Ginyu is pretty good. I will definitely be talking about him as well. Probably a video tomorrow or Tuesday, depending on when that gets dropped. Uh, but that's what is available right now, so this is the actual event. Uh, so let's talk about the card. Arrival to the Super... Uh, arrival of the Super Speedster, Birder. Um, leader ability, agility type, key plus one, HP and attack plus 25%, super attack. Blue Impulse, raises defense, causes extreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, Blue Shadow, attack plus 7% per key orb obtained, medium chance to evade enemies attacks, including super attack, as the first attacker in turn. Now, I know the actual event guide says to give him dodge, I don't recommend doing that. Um, I would recommend giving him crits. Why is that? Because, well, he already has a chance to evade, there's no reason to give him more evade. The evade gives you only 1%, I, th I believe it is only 1% per level, so it's not like you're even giving him that much, and if he's getting attack plus 7% per key orb obtained, if you get enough key orbs, like 6, 7, 8 of them, he's at least going to do some decent damage, not a lot of damage, but he's going to do some decent damage, so if you give him crits on top of that, he'll at least be doing better damage, plus, uh, you could also do a split of crit and uh, additionals, because since he raises his defense, he will continually raise his defense, which means he will do a lot, well, he will be able to tank a lot better. Uh, link skills are the Ginyu Force, Signature Pose, Speedy Retribution, Tag Team of Terror, and Shocking Speed. Categories are Planet Dynamic Saga, Ginyu Force, Max Unlocked Potential is HP of 10,305, Attack of 10,338, and Defense of 6550 with a 12 key multiplier of 125%. Again, get him to 100% in order to get unlock the LR Ginyu you need to do with all five of the Ginyu Force members. Um, we already talked about the potential orbs. Run the event 30 times, you will get enough medals to Doken Waken him. He Doken Wakens into the pride of the fastest one, Birder. Um, his, his leader ability will become agility type key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Super attack blue impulse raises defense, causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill blue blur, attack plus 10% per key orb obtained, which is awesome. High chance to evade the enemy's attack, including super attacks. So again, you don't need to give him evade because he already has it as a first attacker in turn. Uh, again, you're not going to really want to run him as the first attacker in turn. Chances are, I mean... Um, you're probably not going to have him on primary rotation. If you're running a Ginyu Force team, you're probably going to have two LR Ginyus and their best linking buddies. Again, I haven't done a guide on that, so I will talk about that more <coughs> in the future, probably on a video I do on Monday, but uh, stay tuned for that. By the way, if you guys are new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and help support the channel. I would really appreciate it. Link skills are all the same. He gets Shattering the Limit. Categories are the same. And new max stats are going to be HP of 10, 843, attack of 10, 613, and defense of 6736. With a 12 key multiplier of 130%. Raises defense is a 30% boost, which can stack indefinitely. Burderer can launch an early super attack at super attack 9 or once key, um, or more key once super attack is maxed. Uh, so that's actually pretty awesome. The thing about that is, I mean, while it's cool and all, when you're getting nine or more key, or when you only get nine key, that means you're really not getting a lot of key orbs, so you're, it's not going to do a lot of damage. It doesn't really matter too much. I mean, super attack is better than nothing. Don't get me wrong. But just keep that in mind. Uh, but outside of that, I mean, that's why probably crits would come in really good with him. But uh, yeah, it's up to you. I mean, defensing the defense increase of 30%, which is indefinite. I mean, if you give him additionals and his defense keeps on going up, 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 up and up, I mean, that's a 200% defense buff already from the two LR Ginyus. And then you have the raised defense that's constantly raising. I mean, I don't know how high you can actually go, 
but I mean, if you imagine if you get constant uh, additionals with him, ad additional super attacks, and it just keeps on going up. It would be insane. But um, pretty much that's it, guys. Uh, make sure you get your potential orbs maxed out. Um, outside of that, make sure to subscribe if you're new. Thank you for joining me here today, and I will catch you all in the comments below. You all have a good night. Peace.